Okay guys, so welcome back uh, to another one of my videos. So on this one, you'll see that I am working on some uh, ram fingers that I've trimmed. So again, I've done this loads of times, but I'm just showing what I'm up to. So for anyone new to the channel, um, these are ram that, um, I think these are the ones I got off Ralph Morick, that I bought off Ralph Morick. So these are, um, now that some of it is mine, the other ones mixed in with it. So we're going to be working on them and I'm going to be putting them into copper chloride to start off with. So I hopefully this video will go right from getting the gold off, filtering the gold and dissolving the gold and uh, getting the gold powder at the end. So let's see how we get on. So first off, a lot of people like to see what the yields are like. So I'm not big into the yields. I just do it and whatever I get, I get. Whatever I don't, I don't. So for those yield people, we'll get away from them. So let me zero this out zeroed and we'll put it to um put it to pounds and ounces i suppose or will we just go pounds we'll just go pounds and then um, so just over uh 1.15 pounds trimmed fingers so um i'm not sure what they started at at the very beginning because there was some silver ram in there and stuff like that that i didn't trim back this is just gold fingers only so um yeah so that's what i have 1.15 pounds of ram trimmed and we're going to um go and see what we're going to do with it so well i'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to put it into the copper chloride so let's go out and um get this going in the copper chloride right guys so i have the uh, bubbler going and um we're ready to add so that's in there just copper chloride and what we're ready to do then is just add our um, fingers to it. So in they go, and I'll try and keep the bubbler down low. And just try and add them slowly. I don't want to get a big splash back if I can help it. All right, looks like we're going to, there we go. So they're all in there now. And we'll just, A little bit of a copper rod here that I can use just to stir them, just to spread them out a bit so that the acids can work on them all. So, all I'm going to do is let that run for a while, maybe a week or two, and then um, we'll come back. And when, when that's around, the weather's a bit colder, so it might take a bit longer than normal. But hopefully we'll have some gold flakes. We'll check in every so often and see if there's any gold flakes floating around. So let's see how we're getting on. Okay, guys. So uh, I've left it a week um, soaking in here in the bubbler. So that we can hopefully get our um, gold released from it. So we'll just put that aside over there for a second in some water. And... Um, this is what we have. So we have our filter ready to go. We have our solution, which I'm going to, you can see I already dropped a few flakes where I was checking something. So we'll wash them down in a minute. But what I'm going to do is just pour some of this off. So we can see that we have you can really see it's very dark, but there is gold floating around in there. So I'm going to just oh, start pouring it off and then um, we'll come back once I have it all fully filtered. So you guys can check back in a few minutes and um, it'll be pretty quick for ye. It'll be a bit longer for me to filter it all, but We have gold floating around in here and here you can see it floating around. There's still some left on the fingers, but not an awful lot. But we can put that in with some more that I'll be doing. But for the moment, I'll just continue filtering this off. So come back once it's filtered. Okay, guys, so I have finished uh, filtering out the, um, the gold. Um, and you can see it in here. So we've got some in this filter. I don't want to knock all them flakes out all over the place. So that's been rinsed out and um, filtered a few times. And we also have 
another one here which has the gold inside of again the gold flakes from the ram and then i also have some of this which is not as clean uh, but we will also weigh it up in there and um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zero this out well I'm go what i'm going to do first is i'm going to tip these into a jar same these two are the same zero it out and we'll see what weight of flakes we have so i'm just going to do that off camera because it's a bit awkward trying to do it above the the camera so um i'm going to do that i just want to show you what i had there first and then we're going to put it into this and then we're going to zero this one out and we're going to wait and see what we have um, and we'll before we go on to the next stage so let's see what we have in gold flakes okay so we have all our gold in here and um, <coughs> all our gold um, flakes and we're going to just weigh it up and see what we have so we'll just zero this first so there we go that's zeroed out and take that off and we'll put this one on top so what do we have 5.4 grams so we have 5.4 grams of gold flakes there so we'll end see what we end up with in the end um i'm probably going to do it by using um the hcl and bleach method um so that so just so you can see that is 5.4 guys um i hope you can see that on the camera um yeah so i'm gonna gonna do that um using hcl and bleach i think i'm not gonna bother doing it with the nitric acid um hcl and bleach and um hopefully drop it with some smb because anytime i've done it with the bleach and the hcl it seems to work out the best method for me and again a lot of people can't get nitric acid so um it should be okay I'm actually i've forgot to put these few bits in but um so that might bring it up but i might leave that into a different one um or we might just add in i don't know just i've just spotted that i forgot to take them bits out uh there as well so we might as well add it in okay so i added it in and you can see it has changed to 5.78 so just um 0.38 more than what was in there i think or something that was um so it's 5.78 so it's all added in now some of that might be a little bit of green stuff and whatever but it should all just dissolve in the um hcl and bleach so let's go on to that part now and get this into the hcl and bleach so 5.8 Okay, so 5.8 when we stirred it up. Let me make sure that's okay. Uh, 5.81. Let me make sure that's still reading zero. Yeah, that's reading zero. So put that over there. There we go. 5.80. Okay, so 5.8 grams of gold. So um, let's go and get this into um, some HCL and bleach and see how we get on. Okay guys, so here we are um, about to hopefully dissolve this gold into solution. So what am I using? I'm using hydrochloric acid and just regular household bleach. So I'm not going to use any nitric acid on this because um, bleach is cheaper and it works. So why would I? So I'm just going to, again, gloves are on. Um, I'm just going to pour in some hydrochloric acid, just enough to cover the solution. So that should be enough to get it started. Now it's a cold, frosty day, so I hope. This will work better with the bleach because on hot days, uh, bleach will dissolve quicker or the process um, doesn't go as well when it's warm with bleach. So I'm hoping that um, we'll get, so I'll put a couple of drops of the bleach in here. And that should be enough to um, get the solution working so we'll leave it at that for the moment I'll cover that with a um, a dish so that it um, 
is not letting the gases go off as quick so be careful with this again guys because we're creating really is chlorine gas and um, there so anything you see coming off there is a chlorine gas and that's highly dangerous so i'm going to cover that and i'll keep going back and um, adding a bit more bleach to it and um hopefully it will dissolve all that gold into solution and we can eventually drop that out and we'll see what we get so come back once that's all in solution okay guys so um i have filtered my solution and um it's nice golden color tested positive for um gold so again if you don't know how to test positive for it check out my uh, video on making stannous chloride and you will be able to see how to test your solution so we're going to try and drop it now again sometimes this can drop quick sometimes it drops slow we'll see what happens so i've had my um smb in here so again if you don't know what that is go research it up and i'm just going to drop it in and see what happens and see where we get a, a change of color so we just stir it up So we are getting a change of colour, you can see that. It's darkening. So we're getting the gold coming out of solution. So there we go. You like that change of colours. We have that stirred up and you can see there on the spoon even we have some gold. So I'll leave that in here to wash off that gold. Let that um, work away, cover it. And we'll come back in a while and check it out. Right guys, so I've um, let the um, drop settle and as you can see in here, we have our gold powder on the base of the um, settle. I've washed it out a few times because it's no point me um, showing you that. So I've, I've rinsed it out, washed it out a few times. So I'm gonna pour off the excess liquid now. I'm gonna dry that powder out and we're gonna weigh it and we're gonna see how much gold we got out of them. Um, it looks okay. It's not, it doesn't look amazing, but it looks okay. Um, we'll drain it off and uh, dry it out and get a way out of it. So, and again, afterwards you could, if you wanted, you could, um, so you can see it all there on the base. Um, if you wanted, you could give it a rinse again with some um, hydrochloric acid, just to make sure that you get all it nicely cleaned up. So um, yeah, going to next stage, just dry this out and um, weigh it and see what we end up with. So let's see what we ended up with. So this is the, this is the part that everyone likes, the weigh-in part, so we can see what we end up with. So it's all dried out. Um, I'm just gonna put this, so I was hoping anywhere between two and three uh, was where I was hoping. So uh, from the weight I put in for the return. So let's have a look and see. Are we on, we're on grams, that's okay. Two point four so far, two point six. We just need to brush out this the remainder. So I was dead on between two and three. I was thinking. So two point seven. So two point seven. And um, that seems to be it cleared out in there. A um, little bit over here actually. And a little bit there. So 2.74. So we've got 2.74 grams of gold powder. Uh, that can be washed in, you see nice brown color on it. Uh, that could be washed now in uh, hydrochloric acid if you want to clean it up a bit more but because I'd be further processing that at a later stage um, I won't bother doing it yet um, but yeah so not too disappointed in that to be honest uh, it was exactly 2.75 it was exactly where I thought it would be somewhere between the two and three uh, so close up to three so that's that's very good I'm happy with that and um, so 
Guys, thanks for coming along again on this uh, journey to finding the gold from uh, e-waste. So do appreciate it. Anyone that isn't already a subscriber, please do consider subscribing. And um, till the next one, we'll keep on looking for that gold because we've got more to process from something else I was doing working on before. So I'll be processing that at some stage. I don't know what's in there, what it came from at this stage. It's just a mix of um, different type of uh, materials. So until the next time, guys, keep safe. Keep on looking for that gold. And if you don't mind, please do consider giving this a like, a share, and maybe even subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.